to those of you who don't know, Philip Schofield is a reasonably popular breakfast presenter in this country who is, he's got a very good reputation with the public and he has an appalling reputation within the industry. In fact, his, one of his nicknames is Nancy. And I'm sure it's not because he quaffs his hair like Mrs. Reagan. Schofield is, to put it bluntly, a nasty piece of work who attacked me viciously because Philip Schofield cannot forgive me for having led without any dishonesty while he led his deeply in the closet until one of his young, I gather, teenage boyfriends, now this is a married man with two children, one of his boyfriends, I think it was a teenager, uh, who he was getting rid of, I gather, rather unpleasantly, and the teenager went to the newspapers, and he cut a deal with the newspapers that he would come out of the closet whence he had hidden for the whole of his career, pretending to be straight, even pretending by his own account to be straight to his wife when he was not straight. Now, I have nothing against people who wish to keep their private lives private. I have nothing against any gay person who wants to have a marriage blog and decides that he's going to uh, pose as straight as long as he doesn't have a go at others who are honest and decent. And he had a go at me and I called him out on the television and pointed out to him that he has no integrity and he doesn't have integrity. I am absolutely entertained, is the word, that Philip Schofield, having made a complete ass of himself last year with me, has now, is, is now batting on Team Georgie. Well, good for Philip Schofield. He's finally seen the light, having laced into me in the most unprofessional, vicious way, as only, I have to say, somebody who is deeply resentful of the fact that other people have led their lives with their head held high, instead of like him slinking around like some dubious character, deeply ashamed of what he was. I don't know why he was ashamed. Uh, of being gay, but I certainly think he's absolutely right to have been ashamed of being Philip Schofield, the emperor of the closet. And yes, Philip Schofield, his majesty of the closet, called in certain quarters Nancy. What a hypocrite. And Philip, how late you are to come to the party, goodness gracious. And you really think that if you suck up long enough and hard enough, you're going to be made a knight? Because I gather that that's his objective, to be made a knight and become Sir Philip Schofield. Huh. Well, that will certainly be the day when I have to say that I would believe that the honour system should be abolished. So.